Kia ora and welcome to Lady Parker Wine Reviews. I have the Lowburn Ferry Pinot Noir 2007 with me here. It is from Central Otago and specifically the sub-region is Lowburn, hence the name. There's quite a bit of history behind the name also. Uh, in the late 80s, the, when the big, uh, the big projects were going on with uh, hydroelectricity and things, the lake, um, was at, well, the lake was formed from the Clutha Dam uh, but historically there was a ferry which used to run across the mighty Clutha River and now that is all underwater of course and where the, the base of um, the mountains of the Pisa Range is where a lot of the vineyards are, play, uh, are today so this winery has taken the name of the Lowburn Ferry, regenerated some of that history and uh, kept a, a little slice of that really. The image on the front there is um, the sugar, uh, sugar, loaf, uh, sugar Loaf Hills uh, which is kind of an abstract drawing that's quite neat. So uh, without further ado, we'll get into this tasting. Uh, it's 2007 vintage, it was a very, it was a good vintage actually, some uh, great ripe fruit that was picked. And of course this is all hand-picked fruit as well. It's a nice, lovely, lovely deep colour there. Um, yeah, it's a nice, very deep, deep red on the nose. Mm. I instantly get lovely cherries, very, lots of cherry fruit and some other dark fruits, perhaps some raspberries as well but it's very very fruit driven on that nose picking up also a little bit of spice as well and some thyme from the hillsides a lot of wild thyme has grown in central Otago around all the vineyards so you often find that Central Otago time herbaceous sort of character coming through, and it's definitely present in this one. Also, a bit of nice warm spice as well, maybe some cinnamon. It's a beautiful nose, absolutely beautiful to taste. Wow, that's good. It's got some great acidity. Very good acid. It's a dancing my mouth right now. Um, velvety tannins, very smooth, long-lasting finish. Again, just those those fruits just you know resonating throughout my palate. It's um it's beautiful. Imagine it'd be again it'd be a wonderful food wine. I'm liking my central Otago pinots at the moment. Uh, maybe some venison, some duck. Just be go gorgeous with that. Maybe a blueberry reduction. On the um, on some fresh wild you know New Zealand venison would be absolutely stunning. Uh, it retails for about between thirty five to forty two dollars. You can pick it up around at um, the cellar door price is about forty dollars and uh, it's beautiful. It's small production again, um, fourteen percent alcohol, and I am going to give it a Lady Parker rating of ninety two. It's uh, stunning. Great, com you know, great components there. Wonderful nose, follows through on the palate, and it's simply stunning. I um, look forward to punishing the rest of my glass. Thanks for watching, Lady Parker Wine Reviews, and uh, cheers. Keep watching.